what's, what's up? up y'all this is day two in vegas okay. i already got my drink ready i'm sorry that this video is a little bit backwards only because i wanted to film the room review first but our room wasn't ready so it's actually already nighttime so it's a little bit dark within this video and this room is actually way more dim than the link so i apologize for the lighting you guys are going to see in this video that we did go to a couple different restaurants we went to bobby flay's and um, serial killers serial killers on my house for breakfast on my house y'all you guys are getting a little bit of everything within this video i was thinking about doing like two different videos and i was like let's just go to throw it into one video so this is the mgm grand we are in a one bedroom suite i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tipsy review no i'm just playing this is literally my first he's drink. an alcoholic this will just stay throwing shade at me this is it's literally my first drink of the day yeah anyways y'all let me shut up and let's go ahead and get this room review started that way we can get into the food because ooh, the food y'all Oh, the food. Anyways, let me shut up. Let's go ahead and get into it and cheers. Well, guys, this is the outside. Let's go ahead and see if he wants to open the door for me. Hello. Password is pop that. Hey, pop that coochie. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the entrance of the one bedroom suite here. Right here, we have a big, gigantic pull-out couch. You can fit like... 15 people on this couch or maybe or like two one Nathan. <laughs> I would say one you actually. Got, stole my joke. Anyways, this is the decor right here. You guys have nice big open windows and you can actually control these windows from a push of a button if you guys wanted. Um, so this is a big space right here. Honestly, I do have to say this living room is pretty big. Like I feel like you can definitely pre-party here. This is like the perfect spot to have some drinks and then go to Hakkasan after if you guys haven't been to Hakkasan. It is so fun. There is also this big dining table over here, which I do have to say I freaking love. I don't know, whenever I come to Vegas with my girls, I love to like literally just all, we all get ready together. We bump some music and we all just do our makeup and it's just super, super fun. So I love that they have this here. It's a lot of space for everybody to sit down. You can even sit up on the window too. Like this room actually has a lot of space. It's just... It's a little dated, if I'm being honest with you guys. Um, go ahead and take a step back, Nate. We're gonna show them right here. This is the first lovely TV where you have fish. There's Dory right there making an appearance. There's Nemo back there somewhere. Oh, Nemo's right there, right there. Anyways, you have some drawers right here and then you have, I don't even know what that is. We're not even gonna talk about that. It just accesses the TV. It's like a um, HDMI cord, a hidden me cord. And then right over here, you have a snack bar, which by the way, don't ever touch these, y'all. One time we came to Vegas with my uncle and he literally in the open, uh, the, he opened the mini bar, y'all. Damn, you know he watches and, these. Oh, it's like locked. And he opened it and he like literally took everything out and then charged the room a whole bunch of money. So make sure you do not touch anything on here because it is weighted. Threw so, him under the bus. Shout out to Uncle John. Over here we have the bedroom, y'all. This is it. There is another desk right here with a nice comfy chair. This chair right here has really good back support, especially if you're chunky like us. We Does support 290 pounds? Yes, it's 290. Who are you lying to? Oh, I'm talking about you, not me. I'm less than 290 now, thank you. Anyways, this is the full king size bed right here. This is a big daddy bed. Like literally, y'all, I'm 6'2 and look, ooh, it's, it's a hard bed. Ooh, it's a, it's a little bit of a hard bed, but you know, MGM Grand is a little bit old, y'all. So this is the bedroom right here. It is a pretty good size. Um, and then you have lovely views of Motel 6. We know how much you guys love Motel 6. Anyways, y'all, so just right over here, we have the bathroom. And the bathroom is actually really nice too, and it's big. You have a bathtub, which you can't really take a bath in. And then you have a stand-up shower. And you have his and his, hers and hers, his and hers sinks right here. And then right over here, we have the uh, stand-up shower. There is two entrances to this bathroom. So this is it right here, y'all. And basically, you just come right back out through there. And then, bam, that is the room. That's basically our little room tour. Make sure you guys stay watching so you guys can see our food reviews of the omelet house. It low-key looked really sketchy. It's really that was sketchy a daycare place. up in that damn place. It was really weird. It was weird. Yeah. It's, like a, it's a mall. You guys will see. Mm. Anyways, let me shut up. This is our room review. Honestly, I do have to say... I like the Lynx room better, personally. This one is bigger, though. Yeah, but the Lynx had two beds, too. And it smells like throw up, too, in the Lynx, so. Well, that's the hallway, not a room, at least. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, Maybe because he threw up last night, but it's okay. I think it's a nice room, especially if you can get the hookup on it, y'all, but it is a little bit dated, but it's a good space, and I feel like it's, like, perfect for pre-parting because there is a lot of room. Anyways, let me shut up. Let's go ahead and get into the food. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all, so we're here at this busted place. It's called the Omelet House. My mom recommended this place. Um, but as y'all can see from the video, it's a little ran down. But you know what? These hole in the wall places low key are kind of like the best. So 
we're gonna go in and give it a shot and see what they got to offer because they got a big ass menu i'll show you guys the menu and everything i'm like i was overwhelmed looking at the menu to be honest with you guys because there was like 55 options like legit 55 just options. for omelets they also Man, have like just benedicts omelets. uh regular scrambled eggs oh and like scramblers those types of things so skillets we are freaking starving so let's go inside and get us some food because y'all i drank a lot last night i i probably had about 16 self so, 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 so see i can't even talk 16 seltzers so let's go get some food What'd you get there? Well, for starters, we have ourselves a lovely pumpkin bread with looks like pecans on top. Gonna, oh, that's walnuts. <laughs> walnuts, pecans, it's all nuts, who cares? How is it? Pretty dry. <laughs> it looks really dry. Well, I think that's why they give you a little side of butter because that does look a little bit dry. And you, can, you can't even really taste the pumpkin, to be honest. So I'm kind of let down. But whatever, I guess. The forks over here are really dingy, honestly. So if you guys come here, beware. Look at this. This is super dirty. But let me try this. I got banana nut bread, and it honestly looks exactly the same as the pumpkin bread. Super plain. Very plain, very dry. I should have just got an English muffin instead. This is a big ass omelet. It's literally bigger than my head. You all know how big my head is. So I got the health nut, which is the number 19 on the menu. This has um, mushrooms, green peppers, onions, and I think it was pepper jack cheese inside of it. Some type of white cheese, I don't know. And then these big old spud things, they call them. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. I can't, I can't believe, like, honestly, how huge this thing is. Let's see. Let's see if it has flavor. Mm. Okay, honestly, it tastes very organic. It is called the health nut. I will say it does definitely taste super healthy. It needs a little something, maybe some salsa, maybe some hot sauce. It does need a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna try one of these too. These honestly look really, really dry to me. I'm gonna get this one with all the flavor on it. Mm. It's a freaking chip. That's the weirdest thing to me. But honestly, that one with all the seasoning on it is really good. I got what was called the brisket pastrami. That's also for mommy and daddy. It was number 40 on the menu. You said it was called mommy and daddy? I said it was for mommy and daddy. Oh. <laughs> so. What does that have inside of it? That's the thing. It just says pepper jack cheese and onions. And then I assume pastrami. Yeah. pastrami. Yeah. It, that, pastrami like, that, that's so guys, weird. Pastrami and an omelet. Yeah, get the part just, with the pastrami. That way you could see how dog, it tastes. It is literally just all. Oh my God. Jesus. It is just meat. Like, well, you like that. I do love meat in my mouth. It, ew, you nasty ass. <laughs> How is it? It is actually very flavorful. Really? But it is a crap ton of meat. Yeah, I really taste like a onions. lot. I mean, you can get a little close in right there. It's just, it's just. Damn, that's a oh. lot of meat. Yeah. Uh, I don't even taste any onions. I just taste cheese and meat. Oh that's it, man. Gosh. That it does, does taste really look like good. a whole lot of meat. So, what do you think of it? It does taste really good. I would get it again, but I think next time I would probably try it, the... Country fried steak omelet? Yeah, because that sounded really good. So, what would you rate that on a scale from 1 to 10? I give this a 7. That's not too good. <laughs> this is probably super overexposed because it is just so bright right now. But to give you guys our little review of this omelet house place, um, honestly, I thought it was pretty good. I would give it probably a seven out of ten. What would you give it, Nate? Six, six and a half. He's a tough critic. I think it was I pretty wanna... good if you guys like omelets and different like variety of omelets. I was never a fan of omelets to begin with, but the one I had was just pure meat. Like who doesn't That's like good, omelets? Though. This school is. Mm -mm. Anyways, we're going to okay. several other places. We're gonna to go to Serial Killers. Yeah, get some dessert. Yeah, Serial oh, Killers. Later. I'm so excited to try that place because y'all look so good. I can't even look at the camera. So, so you guys bright. will see us at Serial Killers next. Let me shut this video off right here because oof.
we are sitting outside of cereal killers and these are our delicious shakes right here nate got the what did you get cookie butter cookie butter crunch all it is is basically vanilla ice cream two percent milk caramel all mixed in with cinnamon toast crunch which give it a taste test it looks bomb growing up that was always my favorite cereal i still love cinnamon toast crunch till this day Dude. Is, oh you made a face i swear this fool like you could tell when something's kind of blah because oh, he'll he won't make a face is. but then when okay and then oh, my no. sister she got this um brownie points right here the brownie points y'all i was gonna read you guys the description but the description is like super long it basically just says a brownie mm -hmm. shake a crowd pleaser it will for sure get you some brownie points it has cocoa puffs walnuts um caramel and um chocolate drizzle so it has a whole bunch of chocolatey stuff which i don't like chocolate damn we made a mess over here damn nate you're making a mess on that table hey, okay try that one in case you guys are also looking for this place, we're inside Planet Hollywood next to the Chipotle. Oh, yeah, duh. I, know, I didn't know. even say we're inside the Miracle Mile shops. You didn't make a face on that one, so you like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch better. Oh, yeah, it's way better. What's the name of your it, shake, though? The, uh, it's like... Cookie Butter. Cookie Butter Crunch, yeah. Oh. Um, this is so much better. I give Okay, it so what would you rate that one? Solid 9. A solid, 9? Oh, solid. that's the highest rating you've ever given. No, I gave something... A, the Philly cheesesteak when we went to Comic X. I gave that thing a 10 out of 10. Oh, I think. yeah. That was bomb. Um, and then what about Andy's? This is, it, it's it's a chocolate shake. It's pretty boring, honestly. Plain. It, this tastes really good. It's like a Norchata kind of mix in there. Um, I'm more a fan of cinnamon, so I'll be grubbing on this for, well, probably the next two minutes, but it's okay. <laughs> One minute, shit, knowing you. I want to try Nate's because he just made this seem like so delicious, which I do have to say it does look pretty good. But I had to get mine with almond milk, which is another thing I wanted to note, is that you can get it with almond milk, so I appreciate that, because y'all, me and lactose don't get along, so I might die from this bite, but it looks so good. For me, I love caramel, and I love how much caramel was in it. Okay, that is bomb. That is really, really good. Now I'm kind of like second guessing See, my choice. I wasn't capping at all. Yeah, no, that's delicious. Um, I got the issues banana, so this one right here, it says it has um, scrumptious bananas, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla ice cream. You also get banana cereal all um, drilled together. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. I didn't even know that they had banana flavored cereal. Let's see how it is. Isn't like Captain Crunch kind of banana flavored, I guess? Oh, shit. I'm making a mess. This is bomb. Yep. I love this. I do have to say, I think I like yours better. But if you guys like banana, then you guys will like this. Does it taste like a banana split? That's mm -hmm. like, what, that looks it like does. what it'll remind me of. It really does. Oh, this is bomb. Okay, definitely so far, I highly recommend coming to Cereal Killers. It's just really pricey, y'all. Like mine cost $15, Nate's was like $13. They are really pricey, but it is really good. So after a long night out, no drinking for me, unfortunately, but this is going to be my... Sir, you were underage. Who cares? It's going to be my midnight snack right now, right? We went to Bobby's Burger. It's in the food court at Caesars Palace. I got right here the bacon crunch burger, which is potato chips, American cheese, bacon, and a little bit of a Bobby sauce, if you know what I mean. You know? <laughs> so stupid. Take a bite of that. So, we're going to try getting... Get crunch in the potato chips. Yeah. It's very crunchy. I know, I heard the crunch all the way from here. Um. Nope, you're not too thrilled, I can tell. It's, it's your average burger. It's Just with potato chips in it. It's whatever. Yeah, I'm, I mean, it's good. Especially for like food court, you know. But that shit um, was $15. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't say it's $15 worth at all. Maybe like six? Yeah. I got the nacho burger, and this actually has some tortilla chips in it. It has pico de gallo. It has um, fried jalapenos, and I got it with a veggie patty rather than a normal patty. I don't even know how I'm going to bite this. It's a mess, but it honestly does look delicious. Oh, my gosh. The whole, like, bottom part of it is, like, fried. Oh, that's the actual veggie burger. Y'all, this thing, oh, it's a hot mess, but honestly, it does look good. And to be honest with you guys, the reviews really looked horrible for it. I was reading the reviews and I was scared to get it because everyone said it was so bad. And I'm like, y'all, this looks delicious to me. So let's see how it is. Honestly, I think it's amazing. It looks like it has a quinoa base in there. This veggie patty is like a full on veggie patty. It's not like an impossible or beyond. Ooh, it has a little spice to it too. 
I actually really recommend that. It just is really expensive. Now I'm gonna try the cheese fries because these look delicious. With the ranch. Yeah, I don't know Bobby's Place, Bobby's Place. Bobby's Place was a fast food place before coming here. But it is in the food court, if you couldn't tell. Let me try some of these cheese fries. That actually has a good spice to it. I definitely recommend that burger. It's just everything in Vegas is so expensive. These cheese fries are bomb. Definitely recommend. These are $7 though. And you do get just a real little bit. So keep that in mind. But they are really good. Oh, so we're back at the MGM after a long day of eating for me and a long day of drinking for... Well, this guy right here, I guess. You, he is so shady, y'all. I did not even drink much today. Now, yesterday, I went a little bit ham, y'all. I literally don't he remember. He don't remember walking home. I don't I'm tossing him out right home. now. Oh, my God. He was being friendly, though. He kept saying hi to the bums. Oh he my refuses God. I, to believe that. I do remember <laughs> that there was a girl, <laughs> right? She was in the Aria, and she was, like, on a big old vacuum cleaner, <laughs> and I just waved at her, and she was literally, like, doing a little princess wave at me while she's all vacuuming the floor. She was so sweet. Shout out to the girl at the Aria. Anyways, y'all, overall, I have to say I enjoyed my time here in Vegas. We hope that you guys continue watching. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys come to Vegas, please try a Mountain Dew hard seltzer. Literally my favorite seltzers ever. I feel like I should be sponsored by them because without these Vegas videos, I mean without these videos, within these Vegas videos, the drink is getting to me. I have talked about these so much. Without the drink, he wouldn't make it through the day. I can tell you that much too. I sure would. We did a lot of walking today, y'all. Oh, yeah. oh, I had my prime energy drink. Yeah. Prime. Oh, oh, it's not oh. even energy actually. It's just hydration. It's like a body armor, right? Yeah, Mountain Dew. Not <laughs> Mountain Dew. He's got me saying Mountain Dew now. Uh, um, like Gatorade. Got to ride. Got to ride. ride. It was made in Florida. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Let us know how you guys liked our Vegas videos. Tell us where we should go to next. And we will catch you guys in our next video. Peace, Peace out, out. Frosco.